I don't like this subject. I've decided I'm never going to see Proctor. What's wrong? Yeah. The way he spoke to me the last time really hurt my heart. You are one of the less successful people that I've seen to this point. Hey everybody, so I've been watching 1000 Best Friends and I have a lot of questions for Megan because she seems to be in a predicament. Not only is she not working on her weight loss, but she is having temper tantrums about it. So we've seen that Megan vowed to never step on another scale after her weigh-in with Dr. Proctor took an emotional turn. We saw her storm off as her friend pleaded, you'll die. Now, if you didn't know, but I'm sure you did, Thousand Best Friends is back, right? Made a comeback to TLC with the premiere of season two, and I've watched the first and the second episodes. However, things could soon be coming to an end for 43-year-old Megan Crumpler, who left discouraged after a weight loss meeting. But why? Before she was doing really well. At her height, she was almost 500 pounds, and she lost essentially 100 pounds. And I'm just wondering, what is going on with Megan's life that she is not trying to try? As we all know, A Thousand Best Friends follows the lives of four friends as they embark on a major health kick in the hopes of transforming their lives with weight loss. And with the help of Dr. Proctor, the friends help to motivate each other in their battle with morbid obesity. However, despite shedding more than 100 pounds, as I've just said, Megan revealed she no longer had interest in tracking her weight loss. But what is the decision behind that? Her decision came after an emotional meeting. She was not in the right frame of mind when she met Dr. Proctor and Dr. Proctor told her straight up and I quote, you are one of the less successful people that I've seen at this point. Well, I guess Megan took that to heart because speaking to her co-stars, Vanessa Cross, Tina, Arnold and Ashley Sutton, Megan shared and I quote, I've decided I'm never going to see Dr. Proctor. After her friends probed for a reason, she responded, and I quote once again, the way he spoke to me that last time really hurt my heart. But is it really the way he spoke to you or is it the reality of things where he's telling her that she's one of the less successful people he's ever seen? I think that really, she really took it to heart and she should. And I quote, if I'm where I'm supposed to be, why bother going in there just to hear a lecture? I'll go when I get there, says Megan. During the weigh-in, she was brought to tears as she stated she's disappointed in herself throughout her time on the show. And I really feel for Megan. I don't know what's going on in her life. Some sort of stress, some, some sort of something. Dr. Proctor responded to her negativity with this. This is about you taking control of your life. And it truly is. She needs to take control of her life. And he said this as she wiped tears away from her face before claiming she hates this battle. Her friend Ashley revealed she has gotten journals to document their daily food intake and emotions at a table. But of course, Megan was very negative, even in this situation, because as Vanessa left the table, Megan insisted, and I quote, I'm not getting on a scale if that's what you're thinking. No scales for me. I like to do that in secret. I guess she's really upset at her weight gain rather than a weight loss. Then, when Vanessa returned with the scale in hand and enraged, Megan said, I don't want to do it. I'll do it on my own time. However, Vanessa fumed, and I quote, I don't believe you unless you weigh it in front of us. Ashley added that she was bigger than everyone as she urged Megan to step on the scales, of course. And angered Megan, of course, was being rude with her words, saying, F you and your determination before adding, I don't want to do it. Take no as an effing answer. Now, this is just completely rude. 
Ashley, of course, hit back saying, I understand that Dr. Proctor said some very triggering things, but the reason that you don't want to go to Dr. Proctor is because you haven't lost any weight, which is really being realistic. If we boil down the anger from Megan, the reality is, it's because she's gaining weight and not losing weight. Because if she was losing weight, of course, she's going to be seeing Dr. Proctor. If she was doing the right things, of course, she's going to go and see Dr. Proctor. Boiling this down, it's all about the weight gain and not the weight loss. That's the effing reason, Megan added, um, after becoming overwhelmed, stormed off from the table, shouting, I'm done, you're not taking no for an answer, I'm done, and goodbye. Vanessa then, of course, shouted, I love you, but you have to lose weight or you're going to die. You told me the same thing while Megan threw her journal across the table. Hmm. Very upsetting set of circumstances has occurred here. I do feel for Megan. I feel for all these ladies in a journey to essentially save their lives because if you are obese, if you're morbidly obese, overweight, then of course, uh, you are gonna, you're gonna be at risk for an early death. And if you're morbidly obese and overweight and something happens to you where you become immobile and bed bound, you're practically in the grave because the, the statistics, the odds are clearly against you when it comes to things like this. So I do feel for Megan. I mean, season one was great for her. Season two start not so much, but then again, we always got to have the drama in TLC shows, right? So is she really that upset or is this just a ploy to create drama around her character? We'll have to see. We'll have to find out because this isn't something I would think a mature individual that is on a journey to save their lives, to lose weight to reshape their lives and get better would do and say i didn't really expect this from megan but then again expect to expect the unexpected well i guess this is it for me we shall see what happens smash that like button people subscribe make sure you turn your notification bell on also leave me a comment i'd like to hear what you think about this new season of thousand pound sisters season two with all your favorite ladies even fact tell me who is your favorite lady from the show i'd also like to hear that it's important leave me a comment and hey hopefully you're okay hopefully you're in good health hopefully positive vibes are surrounding you and hopefully everything is all right and if not well positive vibes your way because i am out take care of yourselves bye bye and come back for more content.